Now we will take the absorption of monoglyceride fat and fatty acid. As we have seen, <coughs> fat is broken down into fatty acids and monoglyceride fats. We are taking only two here because we have already understood how glycerol absorption takes place. And again, let us draw this elementary canal showing the brush bordered epithelium because here these cells they play a very significant role in absorption of these substances. Fatty acids and monoglyceride fats are hydrophobic molecules. They are hydrophobic. So bile salts surround them in such a manner that the head part of the salt, let us draw the salt also here, bile salt would have a structure like <clears throat> a hydrophobic tail and a hydrophilic head. So this head is hydrophilic and the tail is hydrophobic. So these salts, they arrange in such a manner around these particles that their heads are pointed on the outer side and the tails are pointed on the inner side. <coughs> Hydrophobic heads, sorry, hydrophilic heads on the outer side, hydrophilic heads on the outer side and hydrophobic tails towards the monoglyceride fat or fatty acid molecules. Such particles are known as missiles. These missiles are formed when bile salts surround fatty acid or monoglyceride molecules. So this red structure which we have drawn, we can say it is a fatty acid molecule and these black things which we have drawn with the head and the tail these are bile salts and the structure which is formed is called the missile. Now this missile is a bigger molecule but its outer surface as it has only head part it becomes hydrophilic that is water loving. This piece is taken by the cells of the elementary canal. And elementary canal means we are talking about the small intestine, jejunum and ileum where absorption is taking place. So this cell has to take this particle. Now we will draw it slightly smaller so that we are able to understand what is happening to this missile. It is taken in. It is a big molecule so it is taken in by pino or pinocytosis. We will write down the steps here. First step is fatty acid surrounded by bile salts <coughs> to form missile. This is step number one. Step number two, <coughs> the missile is taken in, is taken in by cells and the process is <coughs> pinocytosis or pinocytosis where the cell surface makes a cup like structure and this particle is taken in. So now this missile actually is <clears throat> going to go in. <clears throat> the next stage we will draw in the next cell. So this missile is into the cell. Into the cell these salts are removed. So now salts are removed. This is the next stage. Salts are removed and Golgi complex, Golgi body. This is the Golgi complex it deposits a layer of protein around it. So now 
when it this particle passes through golgi it gets surrounded by a protein layer and this fat or fatty acid molecule which is surrounded by protein layer is known as chylo micron so what has happened so far the missile is taken in by the cell the process is pinocytosis or pinocytosis the next step the salts bile salts are removed bile salts are removed then next step golgi makes a protein layer around it protein layer around the fatty acid or monoglyceride fat is deposited by golgi around fatty acid is deposited by <coughs> golgi body this structure is called a chylomicron this chylomicron is again a bigger molecule now here what is outside this just to recall the structure of digestive uh, tube or small intestine we said that this is the villus which is in the mucosa part this is sub mucosa then there is muscularis and the serosa layer these are the layers and what we are drawn here is this membrane which has brush border epithelium so this chylomicron which is produced is actually here in this cell the one which we are drawing here this is the chylomicron now this chylomicron would be uh, sent out again it is a bigger molecule so it is going to be sent out by exocytosis into the mucosa sorry sub mucosa part and in the sub mucosa is present a lymphatic vessel this lymphatic vessel is going to take this chylomicron so now we will make a exocytotic vesicle and this chylomicron has been sent out into the sub mucosa this is again chylomicron and this area is sub mucosa so this chylomicron it comes into sub mucosa and it is taken by the lymphatic vessel chylomicrons they are whitish in color or whitish in appearance and because many chylomicrons are going to come into this lymphatic vessel this lymphatic vessel will appear white or whitish and that is why it is known as lacteal this lymphatic vessel is called lacteal because of its milky appearance and these chylomicrons now will be pumped or will be connected with the main circulation for example if this blue vessel which we have drawn is the lymphatic vessel it is going to open into the main circulation suppose this is the blood vessel so these lacteals they are going to pour these chylomicrons into the main circulation and that is why when we talk of lymphatic vessel we say that lymph or lymphatic vessels help in the absorption and transportation of the absorbed fat because maximum questions are asked on the fat absorption part because it is a little peculiar and a very interesting process fatty acid or monoglyceride fat they are hydrophobic particles they do not let water come closer to them so first step they are surrounded by bile salts 
bile sort has two parts a head part which is hydrophilic and tail part which is hydrophobic the bile sorts get arranged in such a manner that the tails are pointed towards fatty acid or monoglyceride fat and the heads are pointed outwards because of this the molecule the structure which is formed is a bigger structure but the outer surface becomes hydrophilic due to these heads this structure is known as a missile the missile is taken by the cells of the intestine by pinocytosis which is a process of endocytosis we have talked of two processes one is phagocytosis other is pinocytosis phagocytosis is when some solid part is taken and when liquid or semi liquid things are taken then it is known as pino or pinocytosis <coughs> When missile comes in, the salts are removed, and Golgi lays a protein layer around it. So now the fatty acid or monoglyceride fat or the fat which is synthesized, it could be even triglyceride fat. It is surrounded by protein, and that structure is called chylomicron. The mucosa, that is the brush-bordered epithelium, releases those chylomicrons into the mucosa part so all this was happening in the lumen then it comes into the cells of the epithelium and then into the mucosa submucosa part in the submucosa are present certain special lymphatic vessels why are we calling them special because when they carry these chylomicrons they have a milky appearance and they are known as lacteals Lac uh, these lacteals carry all these chylomicrons and ultimately they are poured into the main circulation. So, fat molecule which is broken down into glycerol, fatty acids and monoglyceride fat. Glycerol absorption takes place by diffusion. Fatty acid and monoglyceride fats are absorbed in this manner. So, first structure which is formed is missile. And then later on, chylomicrons are formed. And ultimately, everything gets absorbed and it reaches the main circulation. So we have seen the absorption of carbohydrates also. That is in the form of glucose, fructose, galactose. Then amino acids and whatever is produced from fat. That is glycerol, fatty acids and monoglyceride fats. So this is complete absorption. After this... We need to understand the assimilation part also. So we will take up assimilation later.